So, welcome to Sierra Nevada Adventures again. We are continuing on our adventure here from the Bunker Hill Mine to the Pioneer Gravesite, and now we're exploring around on the Mayflower Mine. And as Joe was telling me about some of these old walls here that were built by the Chinese. Oh, yeah. Uh, we saw these foundations back here. So, what type of... Um, activity they were going on down around this way, Joe? Well, the, 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 the Mayflower Mine was up on the, way up there, but all of their uh, uh, ore and everything came down here to be processed. Okay. So I have no idea what the use was for these, you know, but... Because they're crumbling away, but you said the, the stamp mills are still up on the hill. Oh yeah, well I'll show you those. So we'll have yeah. to go up there. There, that's really something to see. And in the springtime, we can see some uh, ferns that are just starting to sprout. Oh yeah, they'll grow on and cover the whole thing. Oh, that'll be nice. That would be really nice. We can hear uh, Rancheria Creek uh, Yeah, I'll flowing. take you down to the chimney. Okay. So we'll keep... What do we have here, Joe? Well, I, it has no name, but there's a a small tunnel that runs back in there 350 feet and there was a group of miners that worked that and this is their lunch shed. They used to come out and eat lunch here. Can we take a little look inside sure. there? But you, see I have it closed up. Yeah, they would step through the hole right there, right? No, there's no hole here. Okay. I just used to keep hay in here but uh, yeah, and I, I take water so off that. they come out and have their lunch right Yeah, they have their lunch. And I, I have water drawing off of there now, and it fills a uh, cattle trough down here. Nice. Just by gravity. And it goes back how far? About? Oh, 350 feet. But I can see in there with a flashlight that it makes a sharp left, so I don't know where it goes. Oh, so it goes even beyond. Oh, yeah. But if you're claustrophobic, that's not the place to work. No, that's the truth. Boy. Uh, it was tough work too. Cave-ins. I don't think they had any cave-ins. It just was tough work to dig them, you know. Oh, digging through that solid sure. rock. Huh? Yeah, it's all shale and, you know, they had no backhoes. No. So now where we're heading, we're heading over to what mine are we Mayflower. Going? This is the Mayflower. Yeah, that's where we're going. Did you see, did you look down there and see that chimney? I didn't see the Oh, chimney. you went right by it. Yeah. Okay. I'll have okay. to open this up we'll open and then close it again because these guys come out. Yep. There's 11 bulls in here. Okay. And I'll, um, I'll show you some relics of the uh, of what they used to process. Okay. Back up in here is the the, the stamp mills where they used to work and crush the ore. Oh, that's where is we there anything a... left of the stamp mills? Oh yeah. Oh, we'll have to see those. Too. Yeah, we can walk up there. We had a music festival up there one time. It was a knockout. Musicians came from everywhere, Sacramento. And is that right? Inside the old structure, and we had music. Oh, nice. Wine, cheese. And like we even got some terrorist off right here. Well, yeah. this is the road up to it. Oh, okay, I got you. And I kind of improved a little bit to get up there. Okay. Yeah, here are the boys. Yep, our friends over here. Hopefully they're friendly today. Yeah. They're all, they're all young bulls. Now, he's picking them up today. The guy that owns them is taking them out somewhere. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, there's a little little bit of a scroll back here. Okay. That's a prize. Well, they have the life while it lasts out here, huh? Yeah, yeah, as long as it lasts, right. But he's got, you know, cattle all over the place, so I guess he's gonna use them. They're young, but he'll use them for breeding the the rest of the herd. Sure. Yeah, there's a... You can see remains of little cuts in the hillsides all over though. When we did come around, I didn't see the chimney, but I did see a lot of the cuts yeah. in the hillsides. I'll show you that. Uh, I'm not quite sure how they process or what they did, but the remnants of it are, are kind of interesting. 
And you were saying there that a lot of the Chinese walls are out Oh here. yeah, I'll show you one. And uh, in the springtime, big ferns grow out of it on the north side. Oh, nice. It's a great photo op. Yeah, because before there was barbed wire, they picked up the stones around here and made their fences, huh? Yeah, well, I, I brought some from the creek down here and made myself some stone walls in front of my house. Is that right? So here along on Chimney Road, as we're saying, is uh, where they were doing some of the processing the gold? Uh, yeah, they were smeltering. Okay, smeltering. Well, this, we're, right now, we're, where are we, Joe? We're, this is the uh, smeltering uh, oven, or whatever you might call that, for the Mayflower mine. And of course, I guess they built it whatever they found. So sometimes they filled in with brick. Sometimes they use stones. And they got a lot of the stones, obviously, probably right out of the creek here. But this uh, uh, brick you were telling me... Is no, supposed... these don't come out of the creek. These no? are not river stones. These they, are different, huh? They dig them out of the ground here. Oh, as they're mining. Yeah. Okay. But and we were talking, look at the size of some of these rocks oh, yeah, right here to get them up that high. That would have huge. been some serious work. And the brick you were saying was on fire. The brick was manufactured in uh, Ione. Nice, yeah, they did. Sometimes these bricks have, they say something on them, but this, this doesn't, so. That, that is really a unique structure there. Yeah. So what they would do is they would smelter the gold and melt it down. The, yeah, uh, I've found a couple of antique little smeltering pots around here. Okay. They're little round clay things that they used to pour into. Would they use the mercury to kind of separate the gold in that? Uh, is that I don't the process know. I was? don't know the process. Yeah, it was a unique process probably, huh? Yeah. But obviously what we could see too is they had uh, trenches down here where they were working the yeah. working the gold out somehow uh, all the way down to the stream. So they yeah. probably had some canals around here to get water up high. Um, huh? Yeah. A As a matter of fact, did you visit the foundry in Sutter Creek? No. Oh. oh. Well, see, the foundry in Sutter Creek, Knight's Foundry, uh, evolved uh, during the gold rush. Okay. And it was all water driven. Is that right? Everything. You look inside and all these big belts driving everything. Yeah. And uh, they fed the um, the furnace. They would feed it with engine blocks or whatever they had, you know, wow. to to, uh, to make all of the things that they used in the mines. The, all the iron and, the, the, you know, they had they sand They had to make everything they had. You've never seen that. when they came out here, there was absolutely oh, yeah. nothing but wild land. But Knight's Foundry was, it's a landmark, historic landmark. Well, we'll have to take a look at that. Well, that's interesting. So what we're going to do here is we're going to keep strolling along. We're going to work our way over to the uh, stamp mills.